Hi everybody, welcome to our second theme week. This week we're going to look at a story called Ruby's Worry. Let's look, start by looking at the front cover and thinking about Ruby. What can you tell me about Ruby? The title's called Ruby's Worry. I wonder who her worry is. What could she be worried about? Pause my video and talk to your class about the front cover of the story. On the blurb of the story, it says, Ruby had always been happy, perfectly happy, until one day she discovered a worry. The author of this story is Tom Percival, and Tom writes a letter on the cover. Let's read it. Dear reader, this is a book about a girl who can't get rid of a worry. Everyone worries about things from time to time, and it can be hard to stop. Even though we can't see our rubies like Ruby can, they're here with us. Ignoring them can sometimes make them worse. So here are a few questions to ask yourself when you think you have a worry stuck to you. What am I feeling? Sad, angry, anxious, all three? What could be causing me to feel this way? Who can I talk to about it? No matter what you're feeling, remember that it always helps to talk about it. Be open. Be honest, be you, love Tom. I'm not going to read this story to you today. Instead, CBeebies Bedtime Stories, Katie Piper is going to read it instead. Katie Piper has gone through lots of worries of her own. In your bubble, you might like to find out more about Katie Piper or at home. What make, what's made Katie feel worried in her life? Enjoy the story. It'll be all right, Teddy. Oh, hello, my name's Katie, and I was just talking to Teddy here. He's a little worried about making sure he's brushed his teeth properly. They look squeaky clean to me, Teddy. Well done, you've done a good job. Now, I know a story all about a little girl who has a worry of her own and it won't stop growing. It's called Ruby's Worry and it's written and illustrated by Tom Percival. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high. She loved to explore wild, faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Each day it got a little bit bigger and it just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast staring at her over the cereal box and it was still there at night when she cleaned her teeth the funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry not even her teacher so Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either she tried to carry on as if everything was normal but it just wasn't the worry was always there stopping her from doing the things that she loved Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realise, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit into the kitchen at tea time. It filled up half of the school bus and it took up whole rows at the cinema. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about and it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then, one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt, sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? It was! Ruby realised that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. 
She asked the boy what was on his mind, and as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Then Ruby did the best thing that you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time that she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. I'm so glad that Ruby talked to her new friend about her worry, aren't you? She felt much better after she did. Everybody gets worries sometimes, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. When we talk about them and share them with others, they get much smaller and eventually go away. Now we've read the story. Have a little think about yourself. Do you have any worries? Maybe you've got a big change coming up in your life. Maybe you're moving to a junior school. Or maybe you haven't been to school for a long time and you're a little bit nervous about going back to school and what it might be like. These are all perfectly normal, but they shouldn't make you feel worried. If you talk about them with someone that you trust, that person can help you make it feel a little bit better. Have a little think if there's anything that you feel that you want to share with anybody in your bubble at school or with your grown-ups at home. Take care.